there, I'm Gillian Armstrong and I'm a Solutions Architect at AWS. And today we're going to be looking at associating a Lambda function to your Lex V2 bot so that you can use it for your code hooks. If you're familiar with how this was done in V1, this has changed significantly, but you don't need to worry as we're going to be going through all of the details today. The key thing you need to know is that your Lambda function is associated to an alias. An alias is a label that points at a particular version or snapshot of your bot configuration. And the Lambda and bot version are associated to the alias separately because you can have different Lambda functions per locale or language. You can only have one Lambda per alias locale set. That means that when you invoke that alias, that same Lambda function will be used for all code hooks in that version of the bot. So here, if we call our prod alias for English US, we will get lambda function A. But if we call our prod alias for English GB, we will get lambda function B. It is not possible to have different lambdas for the different intents or types of code hook. Associating it in an alias means you can test out different versions of your lambda functions, or even different lambda functions completely with the same version of the bot configuration. Here, we can create a QA alias, and we are testing out a new version of Lambda B, where we have extended some of our functionality. And of course, when QA signs up, we can go ahead and update our prod alias with the new Lambda version. And you can, of course, use the same Lambda across as many aliases or even bots as you want. So how do we actually associate that Lambda function? Well, there are three points in your bot's lifecycle that you can use to do this. Firstly, creating an alias through the API. Secondly, updating an alias through the API or the console. And three, creating a bot through CloudFormation or CDK. So let's look at each of them. You can choose to associate a Lambda function as you create a new alias through the API. This is the API for creating an alias. And you'll add the details of your Lambda function into the code hook specification. This is the same structure for your update bot alias. Through the console, you can't associate it when you create your alias. You will need to create it and then go in and update it by selecting your alias and then the language that you want. You'll see that you can choose from any Lambda in that region in your account and select a version or alias. And here's what that would look like in the API call. The interface version is not the Lambda version. The console defaults it behind the scenes because currently this can only be 1.0. This is the version of the event that will be sent to your Lambda function. You can change the version of the Lambda in the API by adding it to the ARN like this. And the same for alias like this. When you connect the Lambda from the console, it automatically grants permission for that alias to invoke that Lambda. But if you're doing it programmatically, you will need to make sure that you add a policy to your Lambda separately. This allows the Lex service to invoke your Lambda for either a specific alias, for instance, to prevent someone from accidentally calling your production Lambda with a test version of your bot, or the other way around. Or you can allow all aliases in a particular bot to call it using a star. The final place where you can associate a Lambda function is when you're creating a bot through CloudFormation or CDK. Each bot is created with a special alias called a test bot alias. You cannot modify the name or the associated version. It is designed for testing out your draft bot configuration. And since this is created automatically as part of bot creation, you can pass the Lambda details when you're creating the bot so they are associated right away using the test bot alias settings. And don't forget to add your permissions onto your Lambda as well. If you don't do this here, you can, of course, update the test alias after creation using the API or the console. So now we've looked at your three places for connecting your Lambda function. Firstly, creating an alias through the API. Secondly, updating an alias through the API or console. And thirdly, creating a bot through CloudFormation or CDK. Now you're good to go and ready to use your code hooks. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to catch up on our other videos diving into the specifics of code hooks.